I'm going to show you how to create and execute a basic Perl script. So in order to create a script, you need an editor. I use nano, and you can do a hello.pl. PL is the normal extension for a Perl script. And in the script, the very first line is the interpreter line. So user in Perl. What that tells you, or what it tells the program, is when it runs, it's kind of a, it runs as a shell script and it looks at the very first line. The first line tells it to run the Perl interpreter and then pass the hello.pl script as an argument. Then the interpreter runs and it will then read in the hello.pl file and execute it. So it needs to have both read permissions and execute permissions in order to have this Perl script work. All right. In Perl, you use print commands. You can print hello world. And Perl does not automatically attach new lines to the end of line, end of things. So you have to add in the new line and close it with a semicolon right there. So this is our script. Exit out. And you can see it in the directory. You can see the hello.pl. In order to run, it needs to have both the read and the execute permissions. So I will do a chmod 755 on the hello.pl. You can see that now it has read and execute, and it is marked green in my terminal. In order to run it, you need to tell it where the script is because it is not in my path currently. So I can do that by typing in my path root hello.pl to run it. Or I can tell it to run it in the current directory, which is dot, I mean dot slash hello.pl. And this is how you can create and make executable and actually execute a Perl 